Well, now to the race for Norris's County District Attorney. We had two candidates on the Republican side in this one. Right, and it was a tight one all night between James Gardner, who, as you recall, ran for DA in 2016. He is currently an assistant county attorney in San Patricio County. John West, who is a senior border prosecutor for Jim Wells and Brooks County, is the one who edged out Gardner. He will take on incumbent Democrat Mark Gonzalez in November. Now, Gonzalez has been the DA for the last three years. And we have two familiar faces in the race for the 347th District Court. We have incumbent Missy Maderi and Judge Guy Williams. Now, Judge Missy Maderi with a strong win tonight. She held a commanding lead from the start. Judge Missy Maderi and Deborah Rios are going to face off in November. Rios ran unopposed on the Democratic ticket. Well, our Greg Chandler joins us live from downtown where Judge Missy Maderi held her watch party earlier this evening. And it was a very good night for her, Greg. Yeah, it certainly was, Lee. And it, you may remember at 6 o'clock I described the mood as the calm before the storm. Well, this is definitely the calm after the storm. Judge Maderi and her supporters have all long gone home after Judge Maderi cruised to victory in the 347th Republican primary today. Maderi seeking a third full term on the 347th bench. She was appointed in 2011 by Governor Rick Perry. And she was expected to win tonight. But when those early voting numbers came in, the early voting and the mail-in ballots, the crowd was very encouraged when the judge had about 82% of the vote, and that really eased both Judge Maderi and her supporters. Uh, when the early voting results came in, I, I couldn't be more excited about it. I am so blessed and so pleased to be able to uh, represent this community. I love what I do. I love that the voters recognize that I love doing what I do for this community. So I, I, it, it's a wonderful night so far. Now, as Katya just said a minute ago, Judge Maderi now moves on to the November general election where she will face off with Democrat Deborah Rios, who ran unopposed in this evening's primaries. Again, very quiet here at the Maderi campaign headquarters, though it was very lively earlier. Reporting live, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News. All right, thank you very much, Greg. Now let's go back to the Republican race for Nueces County District Attorney. Now we want to clarify something. We said earlier in the newscast that John West has uh, won this, although we have four boxes that are still out. So we are going to wait on that. But we have right now, this is what the numbers look like with four boxes still out with John West with 51% and James Garner with a very close 49%. Our Randall Cam, though, is live as Mr. West's uh, campaign party. Randall, how's it going out there? Well, it's going well. Uh, they're very uh, excited and uh, still very concerned about the race. Very tight, only about 200 votes separating uh, John West and his opponent. John joins me now. John, you're uh, about 200 ahead at this point. Uh, only four boxes left to count. Uh, how you feeling right now? Oh, I feel good. I mean, we've done everything we can do. So I've done my job. I've gone out there, met people, had a great, great, great experience. Uh, you know, a ton of support, and I'm, I'm happy about everything we're doing. If you hang on to this lead, and it's uh, you against the current Nueces County District Attorney Mark Gonzalez in the fall, uh, tell me what separates you from him. Just experience. That's what separates me from Gardner, too. I've got more experience than both of them put together. Okay, we're going to keep an eye on the numbers, and uh, we'll let everyone know. Sounds good. All right. Thank you much. John, thank you. <laughs> Back to you.